seven. Number 31, P.J. Washington. At seven, six, ten. Number 15, Chris Capella. At four, six, nine. Number 33, the New York Knicks up against the Brooklyn Nets at Barclays Center. With Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony alongside, I'm Kevin Harlan at the table. And from the sidelines, it's our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says... There's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense, right? Less the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe DA less is more. And thanks for the report. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. They've got Gobert. Thompson is out there with C.J. McCollum. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's Robinson in at the five down low. And for Brooklyn, Kyle Kuzma is out there with P.J. Washington. Then it's Damian Lillard. Then it's Clint Capella. And it's Murray in at the shooting guard. Well, I play for the New Jersey Nets, and look, they made that move across the Hudson back in 2012, relocating to Brooklyn, which I think was the right move. Now McCollum kicks to Thompson. Double team on Nurkic. Gobert the pass to McCollum. Four on the clock. Thompson a screen on Lillard. Hits it from three-point range. McCollum's got the first points up on the board for the Knicks. And well over a decade in Brooklyn for the Nets. Richard, what kind of impact has that move had on the franchise? Well, look, it's been great. The arena is fantastic. The fan base is growing. And more importantly, their ability to attract top-tier free agents like KD and Kyrie. They do not join the Nets if they're still in Jersey. Now Thompson, after the miss, three from Damian Lillard. McCollum, no good. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Nets. It's a three-point game. First quarter just over a minute played. Jacks up a three. That's in there. Murray with the assist. He's gotten so good at finding the open man. Murray does it again. McCollum with the ball. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick, the setup, the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. You'll take it. New York's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Passes it to Nurkic. First shot, first master. He's out of the blocks fast. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Lillard with a screen for Murray. Over McCollum. Murray, no good. Slow start, one of four to begin this game. Thompson outside. 
And Damian Lillard pulls it down. Nets have gone just one of four to get this game started. Murray left side. Lillard outside from the arc. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. They traveled to Brooklyn last time they faced the Nets, and they came away with a win. And it says a lot about you that even when you're not at your best, they definitely were still in that game and able to win comfortably. Just looking at the box score, you wouldn't think that they did enough to pull it out, but all the intangibles is where they won this ball game. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Richard, this part of the season is when we start to hear a lot of rumors, whether it's about players on the move, coaches on the hot seat. It covers all the bases. Yeah, and that can be distracting for a lot of teams. I had a coach fired in the middle of a championship run. No one wants to be thinking about that or whether they'll be traded. But look, it happens this time of year. That free throw good from Thompson. You love Thompson's dedication to the game. He's dealt with some tough injuries, but he never stopped looking ahead. Always focused on making his return to the court. Inside, and Kuzma slams it in. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Cullen passes to Robinson. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Again, the miss by Thompson. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. Washington against Thompson. Lillard outside. Now, here's Capella. Guarded close. Knocks down the three ball. Kuzma's got five now. And proving once again that he has the touch from beyond. Kuzma effective at cashing in there. Stolen by Washington. Went to go with the three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Murray against Thompson. The pass to McCollum to the inside. New York moving it around. Pass to Thompson. Takes the three. That shot, no good. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Gobert with the block. And that's why you want Gobert on the floor. He's as good defensively as any big you will ever see. Robinson, that's good. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Now, here's Lillard. He had 25 points last game. Murray kicks to Lillard. Plays it up and banks it in. Lillard's got his second bucket of the game to go. No excuse giving Lillard that kind of positioning. That's just too easy. And it's the growth of Murray as a distributor it has really proved to be a great point guard. There were questions about that early in his career. Thompson outside. A three from McCollum. No good. He has missed three of his five attempts this game. Washington against Gobert. Kuzma outside. Washington sets the pick for Kuzma. And there's the drive. And the stride gets Kuzma down the lane so quickly. Defense tries to adjust, but Kuz doesn't back off. In a moment, now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Brooklyn. Shooting two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And the edge Kuzma plays with is terrific. A, a tough, versatile player who plays with a real hunger to keep getting better. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. 
JaVale McGee's checked in for Gobert. Hardaway is subbed in for Yusuf Nurkic. And both free throws good for Kuzma. And a player opt out for Kyle Kuzma after this season. GA probably hoping to earn himself a raise. Yeah, and he's a worker looking to round out his game and take that next step as he's just entering his prime. Here's McCollum. Again, McCollum missing. And the Nets with possession. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. Here's Murray. And it's off the back rim. No good. Defense kind of rolled the dice there. And I'm a little surprised it ended up going their way with the miss. McCollum from T. Three-point land. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Let's take a second now to view the top pickpockets in the NBA. Fifth, DeJounte Murray. And he's been a rock for them defensively. Just so many steals for him this year. And, and so many of them have been in key moments for his team. A step back shot here. A shot. No good. And New York will come the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together losing that last matchup with Boston. Bad outing offensively. You, you break that game down. Their issues were pretty clear. You won't win games in this league with an offensive night like that. They've got some things to figure out. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. A good group substitution here for Brooklyn. Reed is checked in for Capella. Williams comes in for Kyle Kuzma. The Anthony Melt. He's checked in for Murray. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Lillard. Lenz checked in for the Knicks. Lamb comes in for Clay Thompson. Here's McConnell. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Pass to Melt. Reed a screen on Hardaway. Here's Melton. Rebounded by McGee. And so it's McCullum. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Lamb against Williams to the right side. Passes to Melton. Now McConnell. Guarded by Lynn. Shot clock at five. From outside the arc. It's JaVale McGee with the rebound. McGee's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Hardaway passes to McCullum. Now here's Lynn. He kicks to Hardaway. Shoots over Melton. Hit the tip. It's good on the putback. And the Knicks lead by two. I love the determination he showed there. Getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Gets it to go. That one good for Melton. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Here's Hardaway. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Kicks the land. Hardaway dishes the land. And no good to start the night. Missing his first attempt there. McConnell passes to Washington. Stolen by McGee. McCollum against McConnell. Steps back and fires. And it's Reed pulling it down. And there's the pass to McConnell. On the wing, Melton. Here's the three. Knicks with the rebound. McGee's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Hardaway. Here's Len. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here.
That free throw good from Len. That's trail by three. McConnell passes to Melton. McConnell sets a screen for Melton. Washington trying to break free. Melton no good. The Knicks shooting 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Here's McGee. And it's Reed pulling it out. And we've got an injury out on the floor. Very unfortunate as always, guys. Uh, don't like to see this. And boy, this really doesn't look good. That, just the way it happened. And you know it's serious if he's heading to the locker room. It takes a lot to get him out of any game. Damian Lillard, Number he's one. checked in for, for Brooklyn. Next. Damian Lillard. Come on, while we've got a chance, let's check out the stats for Damian Lillard. He's putting up about 28 points a game, seven assists, and three rebounds. And, and you look at those numbers, but really his main asset is being a playmaker. Great handle, great vision. That's how he drops so many dimes. That's trail by three. Pass to Melton. Reed a screen on Hardaway. Six to shoot. First quarter. Here's Melton. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Tim Hardaway picks one up. And you know, the Anthony Melton's progression as a shooter has been impressive. Yeah, he struggled on the pull-up jumpers early in his career. But he worked at it, and now he's very efficient. His offense is almost as good as his defense at this point. The Nets shooting their third and fourth free throw jumps of the game. And they've shot the ball well this season oh, in, in, in terms break. of their take attempts. 81%. Free throw drops for Melton. Good on both. 157 left in the first quarter of the game. McCollum against Lillard. Pass to Hardaway from deep three-point range. And no good that time. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Williams in the post. He's guarded by McCollum. Williams gets the bucket. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. McCollum finds Hardaway. 119 left in the first quarter. Poked away. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Here's Washington shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, the defender all over. Lynette shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. James Washington at the line two times. That free throw good from Washington. Washington hits them both. Knicks trail by three. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. 
can let's have a peek at the league's top foul shooting teams over the course of the last month the fourth spot held by the Nets and they've had a lot of success at the free throw line converting those at a high level so I'd look for them to continue to attack the rim on the wing Hardaway misses the lane. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the court. Over in the corner, Williams from deep Washington. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got eight rebounds in this game. Passes it to McCollum. And he banks in the layup. McCollum's got seven points. Nice touch there from McCollum. Looking comfortable and confident from that range. Three-pointer, Lillard. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Lillard's got a couple of threes now in the first for Brooklyn. Uh, he is just so tough to guard. He can fake you one way and then use that beautiful spin to just blow by you. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Hardaway for three. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. Lamb. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for the Nets. He notched eight points in the quarter. He has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We've got more in store for you right after this. Some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And guys, what stands out to you from the Nets in this one? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Their points came almost exclusively from beyond the arc. And as this game continues, that should open up the floor for the rest of their offense. Brooklyn's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. We've got Damian Lillard. Williams is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then there's DeJounte Murray. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the Nets' five as we get into the second quarter. And so it's Lamb with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. Lillard against Hardaway. Shoots over Lillard. Brooklyn with the rebound. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. It definitely made things easier for them. When the other team is just handing you the ball back, you've got to make them pay for it. Stolen by Thompson. Dishes to Hardaway. Back to Thompson. Banked in off the glass. That's now eight points for Clay Thompson. What a strong take by Thompson. Clay's got a big frame for a guard. And Lillard kicks to Williams. Murray outside. Here's Lillard. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Lillard's got ten points in the game. 
Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. To the paint. Here's Thompson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Quinn Capella. Oh, he's so good at getting defenders to foul him because Clay looks to shoot pretty much every time he touches it. It forces defense to overcommit. First one falls. Teams nowadays tracking deflections in addition to steals. Were they something you were aware of when you played defense, Greg? Yeah, even if they weren't tracked, uh, they were valued. And, and I remember early in my career that was something with the Knicks that would always emphasize because deflections were a true indicator of activity, especially defensively. And so Thompson nails both of them. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thanks very much, guys. Growing up, Mitchell Robinson didn't play basketball. But a seven-inch growth spurt in the eighth grade changed things. He fell to the 36th pick overall in 2018, but his physical tools have made him a presence. One key to his success? says just run the floor if you're the first man down the court you can get the ball Play. Play. Kevin that sounds pretty simple to me it does to me too keep it simple and use that athleticism David thanks and here is Murray after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson and then Lillard sends it in just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Nets have gone a nice 3 of 3 to start the second. Williams kicks to Lillard. Murray outside. Lillard with a screen for Murray. Now the pass to Kuzma. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his sixth assist on the night. And they're not afraid to let it fly from deep. They're looking to extend their lead with the three ball here in the second quarter. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. And you look at Lillard. He's going to need to leapfrog quite a few great shooters if he's going to be part of the three-point festivities in All-Star Weekend, but, you know, maybe he can do it. I mean, it, anything's possible, especially if he has a few big games from beyond the arc before All-Star Weekend. That'd give him a nice bump in the voting. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. Man, you talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. Now Murray. After the miss three from Clay Thompson, Murray finds Lillard. That's his sixth miss and 12 field goal attempts. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. To the middle. The 11-footer. That one's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Norkic. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Murray dishes to Lillard. Down low. 
shot clock at six. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And one thing, Greg, we know Capella has always done. He plays to his strengths. It's a great point, Kevin. Capella knows where he's best and, and really focuses on that. Can help the team with minimal touches on offense, but he really anchors a defense by not overextending. And the first one drops. And the defense Capella provides is huge. I mean, a legitimate shot-blocking threat who also rebounds the ball at an efficient rate. All free throws good from Capella. You spent two seasons, Richard, with LeBron James in Cleveland. What was it like to play with LeBron? Well, I like to think that LeBron was playing with me the entire time. That's the way I viewed it. But it was amazing. I should have reworded that. I'm sorry. Thank, My mistake. Thank, thank you. I, I think LeBron James was outstanding to play with just from a camaraderie standpoint. And he always wanted to make the right pass, which, you know, for pundits, they complain about it. But for a teammate, you love it. You love playing with a guy that that tries to play the right way night in and night out. His understanding of the game must be off the charts, correct? It, it is so ridiculous the way that he just sees the game before it's happening. He is easily one of the smartest players that I have ever been around. Here's Capella after the made shot from Clay Thompson. No problems knocking that one down. Kuzma's got the lead up to five now for the Knicks. Yeah, he with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now well, here's Gobert. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And here we go. Murray heading to the hoop. Up the floor. And it's Williams finishing it off. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. And that's when they say you can't teach tall. This is where size helps you, owning those rebounds on the defensive end. Lillard outside. Murray scanning the floor. Robinson with the block. And he gets it back. Kuzma outside. And the Nets, another three. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Yeah, and you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Now here is Hardaway. He averages a bit over six points a game. Feeds it to Nurkic. And stolen by Kuzma. The dish to Capella. Oh, and the jam by Capella. A big lift inside. Capella knows he's a center. He knows he makes his living off scoring close in against that good D. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam camp. And it's time for an injury report. And now let's send it over to David Aldridge for an update on T.J. McConnell. David. Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer for the Nets let me know the status. He's getting looked at now for what the team is saying is a collapsed lung. Obviously something that is very serious and something they don't take lightly. He's definitely going to be sitting the rest of this one out and potentially a significantly longer time before he'll be back on the court. Kevin, really, really bad news tonight. David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate, he's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sidelines. And you just hate to see any injury, but potentially a serious one like this will break your heart. And that's one of the things Nurkic does so well. Absorb contact and still be in control. The Knicks shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And they've been ordinary on the season as well. Just about 75% from the line. JaVale McGee's checked in for Gobert. throw no good for Nurkic you know it took Nurkic a while to kind of establish himself as a starting center in the NBA but it didn't take long to see it's a role he deserves now here's Melton 
He had 13 points in the win against Detroit. And that one, good. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's McCollum. Pass to McGee. Stolen by Washington. To the wing right side. Lob pass to Capella. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Washington against McCollum. Over to the left wing. Nurkic the pass to McCollum. Thompson sets the pick for McCollum. And the Knicks miss again. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Lillard outside. Pass to Washington. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by New York. Norkic has got his fourth rebound in this one. McCollum with the ball. Picked up by Kuzma. Thompson for the triple. Brooklyn with the rebound. Washington's got four rebounds now tonight. This is it to Melk. He dishes it to Lillard. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second personal foul. Well, Lillard Team always second. commits to his That's shot, line. so he sticks it with it despite the foul and gets it off. The Nets have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. And Brooklyn making a change here. Reed's checked in. Lamb, he's checked in for the Knicks. No free throws good from Lillard. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Lenka kicks to Thompson. Picked his pocket. Milton with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. And Damian Lillard with the jam. And we've seen Lillard take over games. Tonight, no exception. The defense has simply had no answer for this man. Now here's McCollum. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Boston. And, and, you know, he was getting fouled time and time again and really delivered at the free throw line. Huge contribution there, guys. The Knicks have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. That free throw good from Thompson. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. And so Thompson nails both of them. And you have to like the way he's attacking the defense, drawing fouls and getting himself chances at the line this quarter. Now here's Lillard. 19 points in the game. And it's off from three-point range. And here's McCullum. Back to Lamb from downtown. Damian Lillard grabs the loose ball. That's leading by 14. Pass to Kuzma. Back to Lillard. Takes a three. He can't get it to go. New York's gone one of six from three point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%. But they've continued to let him fly. And Lillard is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul. And looking at that replay again, just a big time block right there. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. McGee finds Lamb. McCollum outside. Pass to Thompson. 
six on the shot clock. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Clay isn't afraid to get physical if he feels like he can get to the line. The next hip shot, six or seven at the line. Clay Thompson. Yeah, the line with two shots. First one falls for. And so Thompson nails both of them. Now, here's Lillard. He's got 19. He feeds it to Reed. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Pretty much all of their buckets are coming from inside the paint now. For Brooklyn, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. Paul Reed. He had the line one time. That free throw good from Reed. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Now McCollum, seven points in the game. He kicks it to Thompson. Len passes to Thompson. Is the play. Second quarter. Off with the layup. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. The lead is 15. They'll face the Lakers after this one. That'll be at home. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. Outside, Lamb. A three from McCollum. Bangs home the trifecta. McCollum's got ten points. I don't think the range surprises anyone anymore. CJ can shoot the lights out from any position. Pass to Reed. Kuzma outside. Reed a screen on Lamb. Kuzma passes to Reed. Lamb with the block. Thompson surveying the floor. Pass to Lamb. Kicks it to McCollum. And there's the feed to McGee. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. This is his first free throw of the game. And with a percentage of, of 82, he's been one of their more dependable shooters from the line. He misses the free throw. Williams, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And the second free throw, good. There's a minute left in the first half. The pass to Melton. Washington with it. McGee with the block. McCollum outside. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Nets leading by 11. Outside Williams. Alert against Lamb. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal foul. You know, Dane loves to test the defense like that, runs up against it, and then outworks it. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. The first free throw is good. I don't even think he had one free throw before halftime, but he's making up for it here in the second. And New York making a change here. Robinson's checked in. And both free throws good for Damian Lillard. And known for being a clutch performer, Dame has his sights set on title. A, a true leader with a winning mindset. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Lillard against McCollum. Five to shoot. There's the triple. And he's good on the three ball. McCollum's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Knicks. 
And there is the steadiness to McCollum's game. He's going to contribute from deep almost every game. It's becoming a given. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Here's Tom Thibodeau. Coach, you hang your hat on defense. How can you improve there in the second half? Well, we're having a hard time matching up with their three.